healthy eating starts in the kitchen. Hi, my name is Wendy Chen and I am a registered dietitian. Part of my job as a dietitian is I do kitchen inspection to ensure that food are safe for my seniors to eat. During this corona outbreak, I feel very important to share with everybody how to properly sanitize in an inexpensive manner. Now, when we talk about sanitizing, uh, people typically think about alcohol, think about bleach, think about sanitized wipes, think about pine salt, even peroxide. So I think right now it's probably pretty hard to get alcohol and also uh, sanitizer. So today I want to share with you a very inexpensive way of making your own sanitizing solutions. To so one of the ways that you can make your own sanitizing solution is with bleach and water. And you pretty much can search this online with a ratio. But I do want to caution that more is not better because if you think about it, this, this is a chemical. You don't want to put too much to cause chemical contamination either. So I really, really want to point that out. So how do we make a very easy sanitizing solution? Typically, I like the ratio to be four cups, and I put it in a sanitizing bucket, and then I would add about a quarter teaspoon of bleach. Not half teaspoon, but a quarter teaspoon of bleach. I want to emphasize more is not better. So you can just kind of swirl around right here. In the restaurant industry, we would typically use a test strip to test to see if this is a proper concentration. With this solution, you can put your quad, you can put your sponge, or you can transfer the solution into a spray bar where you can easily spray your counter surfaces. As you know that the bacteria spread very easily. And that's why CDC has recommended everyone to properly wash their hands for 20 seconds or sing happy birthday. So I think it's also important that people carry a sanitizer uh, around because you, because a lot of times you don't have access to water. So it's very important that you have a sanitizer solution so that you can sanitize your hands. I also have, like to carry a little uh, sanitizer wipe in case if I have to go to a, a public places when I sit there, I can still wipe on the table. You probably heard that when you sneeze through the Dracula method, but now we are recommending that if you sneeze, the best way is really to cover your nose with tissue papers. And after that, you wash your hands or if water is not accessible, use a hand sanitizer. As a public health pro uh, professional, when I go out in the community, I really observe that people are not washing their hands properly or that after they wash their hands, they contaminate their clean hands with, con with contact of different services. And that's why now CDC has recommended that people keep a six feet distance from each other. America is in a, a dear crisis right now, so we have to do our part to protect ourselves and protect others. Stay safe and stay healthy.